Color quantization is a very interesting type of image transformation. I've already talked about it previously, but I'm making a second video to share more examples and to talk a bit more about certain details. Essentially, color quantization is a way of mapping the set of colors in an image to a more limited palette. You can choose to map to a very small palette or a much larger palette. Depending on what settings you choose, the result can have a very unique style. The algorithm I've been using involves iterating through every pixel and calculating the closest color in the palette. Through Wikipedia, I've learnt of many other methods, such as using an octree or a median cut. I won't explore them in this video though, and I'll just leave it at letting you know that other options do exist. I'd now like to show you how I've chosen to implement color quantization. I chose to write all the code in a Python script using the imaging library pillow. It first asks the user for a file path to the image and presents a few modes. You can choose to assign a random set of colors to the palette, a specific set of colors to the palette, or both. Assigning colors manually seems to be more conducive to artistic expression, but I find that random colors are more fun to play around with. The script was originally designed to only use one method or the other, but I later decided to add the ability to use both. This can result in a style distinct from the rest, characterized by the emphasis of certain colors in the image. After adding the colors to the palette, on the user's side, that's it. You wait for a moment, and then the edited image is saved to the same folder as the original. On the computer's side, this is where it quantizes the colors. Like I said before, this involves iterating through every pixel in the image. When a pixel is visited, two variables are created that represent what the closest color is and its distance to the current pixel. Every color in the palette is then checked for how close it is to the pixel. The color distance can be calculated using this equation, which treats the red, green, and blue values of each color like a coordinate in 3D space. We can actually get rid of the square root as well, since it doesn't change which color has the lowest value. If a color's distance is lower than that of the current closest color, it takes the place as a new closest color. Once every color in the palette is checked, the pixel is changed to whatever the closest color is. One other thing also happens. The closest color is stored in an array indexed with the color of the pixel. This means that any time we encounter a pixel with the same color, anywhere later in the image, we can grab the closest color from the array without ever needing to calculate it. With some photos I've tested this on, render times can improve to over six times as fast. Since I made this script, I've spent a lot of time experimenting with different settings on different images. Naturally, smaller palettes result in high contrast images and are usually more interesting in color. You also have more freedom to apply colors that aren't present in the original image, which can make the result very striking. Larger palettes generally result in images that resemble the original more. Interestingly, if the palette is large enough, but not too large, I find that the result almost has a similar effect to a painting, probably because paintings don't feature as many colors as their references. Overall, I'm very happy with how this project turned out. There were a few things bugging me about the last video I made on the subject, so it's great to finally be able to share better explanations and write better software. Also, if you enjoyed watching the video, please consider subscribing to help me make more videos like this. Otherwise, that's all for now. Bye.